I'm Ty Burr, film critic for the Boston Globe, and this is the week that I put together my year-end best list of the uh, best movies I've seen all year. And I have to say, it's not a year that's really moved me terrifically. There have been some good movies, but nothing that's completely blown me away, as there have been in previous years. Um, yet, as I'm putting together my, my top ten list, I, I was thinking about two films that, in some respects, couldn't be any more different, yet are actually fundamentally about the same thing. And they're Toy Story 3, and a little dark documentary called Marwin Call. They're both about toys that come to life in very different ways. Can you believe it? Mom, I'm not leaving till Friday. What are you going to do with these old toys? And Toy Story 3, of course, is the climactic film in the trilogy that sort of put Pixar on the map. Um, the story of Woody and Buzz, but it, more to the point, it's become this generational story for a, a, you know, a group of kids that have grown up with it and who are now adults, and uh, as well as parents who've raised them and have followed these characters through. Really, it also traces the, the, the history of modern digital uh, animation from the you know, early, earliest crude days of Toy Story 1 to what you can do now with um, Toy Story 3, including 3D. Um, but it's the emotions in that movie uh, and, and the sense that it goes back to the very basic reason why kids play with toys, why people play with toys, because they, we imbue them with personalities, we imbue them with our, our, our better, our better um, qualities and let them act out um, fantasies and dilemmas and that's what the characters do in this in this movie especially no more so than at the end when they leave the kid they've been with for so long and come down to a new kid uh, in a way that's you know I had me kind of tearing up in the in the theater and I think a lot of people too especially the kids who grew up with it with the, with the Toy Story movies and in, in the uh, are in college now. They're, they were basket cases. I've heard a lot about you know people in their twenties that were bawling like babies when they saw this movie. Um, Marwan Call, like I said, ostensibly couldn't be any more different. Tiny little documentary about one guy who nobody's ever heard of, um, a guy named Mark Hogan Camp in upstate New York who was beaten into a coma outside a bar one night and woke up a couple of weeks later and came home and as part of his therapy and trying to regain his memories and his ability to write and think and talk, uh, created a World War II uh, village in his backyard and peopled them with sort of repurposed Barbie dolls and G.I. Joes and created this entire fictional world that's basically a mirror of his real world and in fact every single one of the dolls in Marwin Call, which is the name of the fake Belgian village in his backyard is an analog to a real person in his life including the central figure which is really himself. Could never do. There's always something going on in Marwin Call. I've taken place in many battles. We usually come out on top. The SS had me tied up. The girls went into the church and they eliminated the SS. Her coming and saving me proved to me that she loved me. As he moves through things that have actually happened in his life but translates them into this astoundingly realistic and, and even moving fake World War II story, which he photographs on a cheap camera with a broken light meter, but the photographs are almost museum quality. If you, you should go to marwincall.com and look at the photographs, they're, they're stunning. Um, and the movie is in part about how this guy working out his problems uh, on the fringes comes in contact with the New York art world and how, what they make of him and what he makes of them. And there's other things going on, but like Toy Story 3, it really is about uh, fundamentally the healing power of fantasy and of using totems, little plastic totems to resolve our lives in really profound ways. Um, both those movies speak to that idea in completely different ways, but in really satisfying ways. So they're both of them, Marwin Call and Toy Story 3, are certainly on my year-end best list.